Bismillah Rahman Rahim. I'm Dr. Muhammad Mehtab Alam and I'm going to explain the various steps of hypothesis testing when sigma is unknown. So third step of hypothesis test when sigma is unknown is set the type 1 and uh, significance level. Type 1 and significance level. So it is 0 0.05. The common default it is uh, if not given, if not mentioned, just take 0 0.05 means 95% confidence level. Then establish the decision rule. This is the fourth step. How you can establish the decision rule. So using the critical value method, we will reject the null hypothesis if T19 and it is a two tail. So if it is uh, table uh, critical value is equal to or greater than uh, greater than 2.093 plus minus. So if T calculated equal to plus minus uh, 2.093 just reject the null hypothesis this is the decision rule then step 5 gather sample data from the sample data x bar 25.51 and sample variance uh, sample standard deviation is 2.1933 and now step 6 analyze the given data so T degree of freedom is equal to this and when you solve this value, you will get t is equal to 1.04. Now reach a uh, step 7 is write your statistical conclusion. So t is 1.04 and it is less than table value 2.093. So it means do not reject null hypothesis. And step 8 implication there is not enough evidence to show that the plates are different from 25 points. Note, is this because the true population mean is close to 25 points or is there a large chance that we have suffered from a type 2 error? Good questions. More on calculating type 2 error rates later.